Oh. Okay, I'm just on the overworld now. And yeah, those kinds of explosions right next to the uh, active volcano. Yeah, a little bit dangerous. I guess the game wants me to go back to Nimbus land here. Do I need a heal or anything? Nope. I, I, I can't words, so I'm just gonna forget that thought completely. So, what happens here now? Do I need to go have a little bit of a chat with mom and pops? Oh my goodness, I am gonna have no earthly idea how to get there. Unless it was just this here. Or am I going crazy? No, it wasn't this. What? Oh, just birds. It's like, wait a second, there's things in the cages now. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Just jump off your head there real quick. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think this is the way, right? That's the- Oh! <laughs> nice. Does that mean I'm going the right way? I don't care about the treasure. So here, right? Oh. Mind. You gave me another job as a guard. Prince Mallow! So much. We were able to rescue my father with the key you gave us. Don't mention it. Besides, it was you who actually rescued him. Good luck in the future. You too. Prince. Before you merge into Mario's form again. Here. This is from me. Let's take it. Flower jar. Oh, cool. I think I came and chatted with this guy. Oh. Nope. Wait, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I... I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, gotta head to bed. Alrighty, appreciate you stopping by and hanging out, Adam. I hope you have an awesome rest of the night. Mom, Dad, were you able to find the star, dear? I don't know why I went so much more old lady-like tone here this time, but uh, yeah, the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. Oh, the star. The uh, star way can be repaired, right? I guess not. Or Still missing a piece, I take it. Last star. Wait, the only place left to look in the whole world is in Bowser's Keep. Yeah, we know. There's no way to get in. Believe me, we've tried, have we? But... Yes, yes. Even Mario can't jump that far. Alright, I'll let you use the... That's it, dear. You should use the royal bus. Yes, Mallow. The time has come for you to take the bus. Embrace your inner uni. Why, when I was your age. Really? Are you sure it's alright? It is the bus we're talking about. Of course, dear. I'll order the repairmen to have it fixed by the time you leave. You simply have to help Mario and the others get that last star so the bus isn't even operational right now. You bet, Mom. Come on, Mario. Let's go. I almost feel like everyone's dreams come true once again. All right, get the star, uh, starship fixed for good. Best of luck. Where do I go for this bus? So would it be faster going out just this way and then taking the spring back up? Probably. I don't know where I'm supposed to go for this bus. Also, I don't know why I made that one invisible platform up here. Just the satisfaction of doing it, the love of the sport. Maybe treating it like a Minecraft speedrun where you can jump across things that are, uh, you know, just two blocks from the, gr from the ground and then it speeds you up as you bash your head and run across it over and over again. That's definitely what I was doing. Alright, time to embrace my inner clown. In the sky. I never really checked this. Is there any cool items here? You say, you have that I'm looking for something I look in your eyes. What can I do for you? Uh, I guess I'll take another one of those now that I used one. Mega glove. Packs a mega wallop. Launches a punch attack. Bolts from the elbow. I'm a serious battle fan. Yeah, I can afford pretty much any of them. All the fluffy stuff. That make that much of a difference, though. 
Thank you for your frog coin. Um, boss, huh? Bus has finally been repaired. We can start operating again. Prince Mel! I want to go to Bowser's Keep. Can you give us a lift, please? I've heard the story from King Nimbus. He'll be there in no time. Here it comes! Here it comes! <laughs> like a taxi than a bus. Bus driver cap kind of thing. Huh? So, how's the engine running? Uh, it's burning like a kitten. You take Prince Mal to the entrance of Bowser's Keep. Of course. I can't wait to get this thing running again. Come, Prince. Hop aboard. Up on board. Not aboard. Bet there's only space for two. All aboard! We're off! <laughs> so... Okay. In case I use it for a thumbnail, this is super cinematic here. <laughs> Such a goofy video game. All right, well, we're back in Bowser's Keep. <sighs> Scent boiling lava. It's so nice to be home. Smithy's gonna pay for stealing my splendid castle from me. Can I just beat this game tonight? Is that a thing that I can do? Let's see. Spoozy! I don't need a heal, all right, okay. Just making sure. I am, like, fully... Yeah, my FP's full. Oh no, they're all green! I'll see you later, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna zoom on through here. Oh, okay, I got clipped there. Grand Trooper. I'm feeling lazy. And like pretty strong anyway, that I don't really think I need to worry about gaining levels all that much at this point. Whoa! Oh, I thought that'd be like stairs down or something there. Whew, I was just randomly jumping for fun. I had no idea there was gonna be a Goomba there. Unless I'm a secret speedrunner. Oh, man. Fine. Screw these two pro Goombas in particular. Man, I guess I can, uh, uh... What about those pro Goombas? The fear, poison, sleep mute. I'm not gonna remember that. Hey, maybe I can win! This again, nerd. All right, well. Ah! I was close to leveling up. Mecha Koopa Stomp. That was his ultimate weapon. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty nice. Look, that Goomba's really ticked off. I took out his friend. One level 17 and the rest level 18? <laughs> no. No. Tell me we're having a rematch here. Or you're gonna steal something from me. Hey, Mario. Do you remember to use a save point? There's plenty of danger up ahead, so it's best to save now. You need anything? I've got some items to sell. How did you obtain said items? Fine. I've seen them in shops before. I'll take some party cleanses. He charges the same price as any other shop. Oh, well, it's a good thing I didn't buy stuff at the, uh, at the place. There's just better things here, and I have plenty of coins, so... Screw it, I'll get it. A determined person's pants. Never thought I'd read that. Well. There we go, I still have 872 coins. Alright. Thanks, Croco. There's probably some random guy out there that's feeling significantly less determined now that he doesn't have the pants befitting a determined person that I've just illicitly bought off of this crocodile that stole it from him. Oh, there are six doors. Need an explanation? Nah. I... Yeah, maybe I should have got that explanation. <laughs> Terracotta, huh? How punny. Here, sure, let's, uh, no. Thought peak. 
What is going on? Fear, poison, sleep, mute. Oh, Mr. Bowser! Bowser's scaring the terracotta. <laughs> Wait, will I still get experience off of this? Let's see. No. So I'd fight them if I didn't have Bowser. Because they're kind of Bowser's minions. Whoa! That looks like something that you'd see in Bowser's Inside Story in the Peach's Castle revisit. Star Cruster. That is absolutely some dark scar. Dark scar? Dark star color scheme stuff there that Fafa would have made. Where's the crustacean station? I ask myself that same question every day. Take out these guys first, how about? Keep on getting these attack ups. Ow. Mean. And do this. Bubbles. All bubble blowing babies will be beaten senseless by every able body patron in Mario's party. Okay. I I really don't know what I'm doing. There are the number of doors, I went through four. Sack it. You look like an enemy that might run away here very soon. After stealing some of my crap. Vandalize you first. I can't help being roguish, it's how I am. Oh, you did run away, so it's a good thing that I analyze you first. Okay. Get these big blasters. Ow. Oh, the bullet bill sound, it cuts off immediately when you block. Not even like a fade out or anything. Just sudden cut in place with the shielding sound effect. One thing you can say for me, it's that I'm never afraid to shoot my shot. Gotta give him credit for that. It does have to be said. I swear I pressed A. Okay. Well. Fence up. Let's throw this spiky chain chomp at ya. Okay, starting to get the hang of the timing here. Says I messed up Geno's. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that real quick. I'm almost at the end of the hall, finally. Almost. Oh, it's the guy that looks like a FNAF fan game guy. The Forky is enraptured, is what my camera blocks. It says. Or I could be completely making that up, and you'd never know. Forky. What's going on with you, Forky? Your poison sleep mute. I'm not gonna remember that. Everyone dance the polka. No. Age up. Not like it really matters at this point. Nice. Pack up. That's what we like to see. That or the lucky. Lucky's probably the best thing to see. Okay. Let's get Gino out here. Oh, I got the timing that time. The Forky has come to its senses. Not for long. Not for very long at all. That uh, level up tune is pretty sh nice. Uh. Okay. Did I mess up by going down this way? I should probably get an explanation. Yeah, I'm gonna do the give up and get an explanation, I think. I should probably do. Not a bad idea, right? Part of me worries about this potentially being endless. I wanna have a good idea that I'm on the right track, you know? Instead of just this random guess that I did. Yeah, this attempt will be counted as a failure. Don't tell me I need to actually do all of them. Like, I failed door four? What? No. No, 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 no. What's the explanation? Damn, 
Super Mario RPG Six Door. It's just Six Doors, I guess. Six Door Chamber, Mario Wiki. Six Door Chamber is a series of corridors located deep within Bowser's Keep. Begins with a room of six numbered doors. Two of the doors lead to action courses where Mario must use his jumping ability to navigate obstacles and enemies, which do not lead to battle encounters and collect items. Two lead to battle courses with a series of consecutive fights against enemies summoned by Wizakoopa, and two lead to puzzle courses where the player is challenged by Dr. Topper. Sure, his destination is randomized each playthrough. When a course is completed, the player is sent back to the room with the doors where that course's door is marked with an X. Each course has a reward at the end, and four must be completed to progress. What's. Okay, I. Well, I screwed myself by going back. Yeah. Yeah, according to the wiki there, apparently it's complete four of them. Too bad. Yeah. Well. Guess I'm doing this again. Yeah, so four. Hello, hello, Cultix Agent X. Whoa. Well. Yeah, I guess I'm doing this again. That sucks. When I saw there was just another room of more foes to fight, I was like, huh. Hope this doesn't go on forever because I chose the wrong room. Whoops. Well, doesn't that suck? Oh well. Should be able to reliqui- reliquively? Relatively breeze through this quickly. What I want to say, but my brain just refused to. For some reason there. Get out of here, Fafflebot looking dudo. Be gone. Fuffle was into crabs. Yeah, I guess I'll get a whole bunch of experience and stuff. There will be that, at least. Is there anything that I can talk about in the meantime? It has been a hot second since I've streamed. I'm sure a lot of stuff has happened. I feel like throughout this stream, I've already gone through a whole lot of the stuff that's been going on here recently. I don't know if I have as much stuff to be talking about more in the meantime. One interesting thing that I followed up about recently is there was recently this craft sale at my university. There's this big craft sale that apparently goes on each December. And I've never been to it. Went for the first time here recently, along with family that was visiting from the next province over. And there were all sorts of like cool, unique things that were made there. And this one person at this booth had these really interesting, unique pieces of art where they would take either Hot Wheels or any other small model of car put it onto kind of like this acrylic canvas and paint trails in like the direction that the vehicle came from. So not like exact tire trails or anything like that, but more of like, here's the color, you know, going out in different ways where it's like a more artistic trail, you know, that I thought was really cool. I was chatting with him about it and he was saying like, yeah, he even does like custom work with stuff like that. Um, as long as, you know, the model for the thing can be found like a Hot Wheels or whatever else. And, yeah, I'll just do this. And I had already planned on looking into getting some Hot Wheels for my dad because his uh, truck, a 1949 Mercury, there just so happens to be series of Hot Wheels of 1949 Fords, which is the exact same as Mercury. It's a different name, but, you know, it's the exact same model of truck is the case. And looking into it, apparently there was a lot of different 49 Fords that were made. Um, unfortunately, no 53 Dodges or anything like that for my truck, but in terms of his truck, apparently Hot Wheels really quite seems to like the 49 Ford and has released it as part of, like, several different sets before in all these different ways. None with quite the exact color scheme of his truck. I could always repaint the little thing. But, you know, because he was saying that he did commissions and stuff like that, as long as, you know, there was, you know, a thing where Bob available to put onto it. And I found some thing where Bob's recently and ended up ordering two sets that include the 494 there and ended up ultimately paying a little bit over a hundred dollars Canadian on eBay and Hot Wheels. I've never spent so much money on Hot Wheels in my life. Uh, so I reached out an email earlier today to ask like, hey, so about that commission, is it possible to, uh, you know, have the thing made and then just attach the model later? Like, what can we work out here? Because that'd be a really cool, unique art thing to do for my, uh, for my dad there, because it really is something unique you know and that'd be really awesome to bring to show and shines and stuff with that truck have it set up on top of the hood with you know there or on top of the engine with the hood open or something like that 
something that's uniquely made for that truck in the style and colors of it, you know? I think that'd be a really meaningful gift for him, so. Uh, just to get the chance to thought peek you, I guess. So that's a thing that I've been looking into here recently. What's that big Mario guy doing looking at little old me? Ow. Time for a chain to the face. So yeah, if that's able to, uh, play out and I'm able to get that thrown together, that'd be pretty cool, you know? So, we'll see how that goes. I would gladly get something like that made in my truck if there was little models of mine, but it doesn't quite seem to be. But yeah, when I was looking into it, like, in terms of what Hot Wheels there were for a 49 Ford, apparently it turned out it was a lot, a lot of things. The very first instance that I could find of a 49 Ford being made as a Hot Wheels was like 2013 or something like that, where apparently it was a branded one with a Yogi Bear on it, <laughs> was the case. Apparently there was a special Halloween 49 Ford that they released at one point, but the most recent one was, uh, Apparently, ever since Hot Wheels' 50th anniversary, like, four years ago or something like that, like, 2018, they, uh, they released a 50th anniversary set, and they've been releasing anniversary sets in each year since that, you know, have special colors and have, you know, the year put on them and stuff like that. So, like, 50, 51, 52. And 2022 was the year for Hot Wheels' 54th anniversary. And apparently, the very first set of that, the very first vehicle in the set is a special 49 Ford with a 54 put onto it for, uh, you know, Hot Wheels' 54th anniversary there. And that was one of the sets that I ordered where I just ordered, like, the full set there. Apparently there was two sets, set A and set B, and that was set A. And I ordered that because, you know, more valuable with them together. And then have, like, the very first vehicle that's displayed there, the 49 Ford, paired with an actual real-life 49 Ford. Well, 49 Mercury, but same thing. So... I don't know if they're going to get in before the holidays. The, uh, you know, the ETA on when it arrives is it could be before the holidays. It could be after. I don't know. So we'll see. Hopefully before. And hopefully something nice can be made up of that uh, art with the cool trails behind. Gosh dang it. Be paired with it. I think that that would be a really meaningful gift for my dad there. So that's the thing that I've been looking into here recently. You win. Sure, I'll do it. Where's Yoshi? Oh god, I can't look at the subscription right now. Yoshi's there. No, oh, gosh dang it. Okay, who subscribed? It was Kuzma. <laughs> Kuzma subscribed for 35 months. That is a heck of a long time be sub there. Coming up on three years. One month away. I appreciate the almost three-year resub there, Kuzma. Welcome back to Team Enharmonic. Enjoy another month of emotes and sub badge and stuff. Just got off from work. Sorry, I'm mobile right now in that case, I guess. I hope work went okay. Oh, yeah, I actually made it home. Nice. Ah. Funga spike. Partially blocked that. I'm a mushroom now. Uh oh. No. Dang it. It's just... Uh, well, at least it's over now. On the bright side, right? Uh. I don't know. Do this. I have no idea what the timing on that was, but that worked out fine. But yeah. Oh, jeez. A little bit of everything, then. Well, at least the day is through now, and now you can chill out and take it easy. <laughs> That's quite a bit. Oh, look at the little gecko guys. Gekko is confused. I don't think I've ever analyzed these guys. <laughs> One of those kinds of days. Jeez. Sure is hot here. I should move. Maybe it should move. Chained Kong. Seems pretty odd, honestly. But yeah. Yeah, I got through it. And now that's done is something to be proud of. You know, I got through it. Swap Gino back in and take out Chained Kong. Vidar starts Friday. Take this ball to the face. I feel kind of bad doing that to the cute little lizards, though. Cleansing juice. Okay, and then... How long does it go on? 
This isn't even a meaningful challenge. It's just annoying. Uh, rob him. Gonna rob me of this win. Bam. One thing that can't bug you is you got basically zero recognition tonight. Others have a good job to everyone else except you and one of those kinds of times. Well, I'll say good job. You'll hear it from me. Guzma did awesome work today. Good job. You should be proud. If you didn't hear it from them, you're hearing it from me. Ever played Origami King? No, I have not. Origami King, I'm fairly certain, came out after I became a content creator. And after the point where I was like, if I do things, I should do them in order. So I was like, yeah, I should do the other Paper Mario games leading up to Origami King. Which means we're going to play the best video game ever made, Sticker Star, eventually, if I have the time. Ulta Destiny is nothingness. Might as well go out with a bang. Wow. That's dark. Um, but yeah, something that everyone needs to hear. Sometimes, you know. Uh, here. Just that. I've heard that. Gosh dang it. Origami King was pretty good. I Before I was a content creator, I'd only played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and Sticker Star. And I hated Sticker Star. Uh, that was it. I'd never touched any of the other Paper Mario games. Since, be become, blah, 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 blah. since becoming a content creator, I have since played Paper Mario 1. And then I'll do like my channel version of Thousand Year Door next year. And then, you know, then it'll be Super Paper Mario. And then I think Sticker Star after that. And then Color Splash and Origami King. Battle rooms are a bit dull as the encounters aren't any more interesting than anything else. In this game or uh, Origami King. Origami King was okay. I do like how there was a mini game for it in a <laughs> WarioWare Move It. I did think that was pretty funny. I think my favorite game and mini game. From Mario or Move It though was the Metroid Dread one. Ow. I suck at the timing. Wow, I really suck at the timing. Mario's the one that I'm the best at here. Okay, time to die. City Cannon. Get out of here. Uh, just do that. So many battles. I kind of suck just not knowing how to deal with these guys. Just attacking forever. Gummy King is weird as objectively it's well made, but still doesn't have the spirit of the original three. Usually when I hear about Paper Mario comparisons to later games, it's usually the first two in regards to the later ones. Since the first two were like one style and then the style completely changed from titles from there. Especially with how much Super Paper Mario had changed things. So it's interesting to hear, you know, the first three rather than the first two where, you know, I have heard really good things about Super Paper Mario to be fair. Now, biggest criticism is just that it's not the same, but in terms of it as a game, I've generally heard that it's a really good game. Bam. Sent you a pick. Super Paper Mario is amazing. What's this pick here? Oh, is this like the menu items and stuff? Everything underlined? They all sound like super fancy schmancy though. Like the thing that you see on a fancy uh, restaurant menu. Grumpy King is still lacking. Better than Sticker Star though. I mean, that stars you'll regret hitting me. Saying that something's better than Sticker Star though is uh, unheard of because we all know that Sticker Star is like the greatest video game ever made in the history of humanity. Obviously. Anyone that's ever played a video game of any kind obviously knows that. Ah! Whatever, it's doing like no damage. You know, I was saying early on in this playthrough that I make a mistake and then I lose like over half my health, whereas now it's like... I never even grinded past that one time after the first stream when I only had Mario and Mallow. You know? Now here I am, just uh... Almost no damage. At the time that I press A, I have no idea. I just felt lazy there. But yeah, and yeah, that's a decent bit of stuff to get through there. Jeez. Yeah, Super Paper Mario could be counted as a spin-off, probably because it was originally for the GameCube. Oh, it was? Huh. Um basically I had around 350 ores that came to your station tonight. Jeez. Super Paper Mario repurposed a lot of troops from 64 and Thousand Year Door, so it has the spear. Okay. Where's Yoshi? Right there, right. You win. 
this the last battle? Is there another hallway after this? Watch it actually never end. <laughs> look at this goofy little guy. Yeah, maybe. That This does not look like the guy that was just summoned a second ago. What do I know? This can be deceiving. Make the jump. You sure are a greedy one heart emoji. Here, I don't know, just jump. Because you're weak to it. Whoa! Bahamut was inside. Ah, I figured that was probably the case. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, the equivalent of the Mario mimic here. I used to sleep, huh? Have I ever tried terrorize? I'll try these some other time. Do this before you potentially summon more guys. It'd be nice if I was powering jump. If the it'd be nice if I was powering up jump throughout the game. If I'd known that that was a mechanic earlier, but I didn't. Yeah, this seems like a much harder thing, so I assume this is the final one. Probably, but yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's good to be able to chat about those kinds of things. Right? Yeah, screw it. It'll build up through like a bunch of other battles that I do here anyway. For sure, do it. Might as well use it at some point, and this is probably the battle to do it. Wasn't actually as much damage as I hoped it would be, honestly. I messed up the timing on that. Okay. No. Ow. Okay, uh... I don't know, man. But yeah, um... Is it for being like, uh... Or is that a minority in that area? Because I know that, uh... You know, you... A lot of places in the Western world, like, white is typically going to be the majority in a lot of places. But my mom, when she was working in Texas as a nurse, she was, like, one of the only white people there. And, you know, at first was very kind of out of place and things were kind of awkward but then you know when everyone warmed up to each other it's like hey yeah you're pretty cool after all you know she was welcomed in with you know open arms and you know said that you know everyone was a uh, you know super fun to work with and it was great and fantastic and stuff i heard about it between last stream and this stream so i found out a little bit late to uh know that jump keeps getting powered up so it's gonna be doing next to nothing and it's a little bit late in the playthrough to be Trying to power it up now, I think, but... Sucks to suck. Ow. Wow. Yikes. But from what I've heard from my parents during their time living in the States, especially in a lot of southern areas like that, people are very much in their own little bubbles and have a lot of skepticism towards one another at, uh, at times because it's the south. <laughs> you know. But yeah. All the ships are white, though. Well, yeah, I hope that there's not too, too much tension there. But yeah, the things I've heard from my parents about the South, it's like, yeah, people are kind of skeptical of one another at times. Uh, I don't know, Gina might die, but we'll see here. And then I can wood this and stuff. But yeah. Well that's good. At the time no, I I man. Still healed most of my HP though. Which is good. <laughs> what a sound effect. I do have to say. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Gotta level up on Peach with that as well. Nine points. Yeah, for nine points, I'll go ahead and do HP this time. But yeah. Um, I mean, maybe things were just like super frantic that, you know, might not have crossed their minds. Maybe. I don't know. 